Please select a mission. Please select a deployment point. Dispatch requested. Buddy, depart 
Launching area of operations. Boss, get down. The enemy sniper. Stay low and crawl along the ground. That should enable you to sneak past enemies. Occupying the facility. Skullface must be close. Analysis complete. Buddy has infiltrated an enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Please select a deployment point. The map has been updated. Please select a deployment point. Hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. That's what kept you safe in British military hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. He said I was... Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember Miller. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but... I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. I've gone easy on you up until now, but this is where the hard stuff begins. 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in coma. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base. You've seen everything we've got on the outbreak. What's your opinion? Textbook symptoms. A vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms from detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. So our Kikongo speaking staff are at risk. Quite so. Hmm. He's right. All the victims do speak Kakonga. So they can survive if they just use another language. There is no guarantee you're only dealing with the Kakongo strain. Other language strains may be present. You well know he was teaching them languages from all over the world. The Devil's House. In Zoya Badiabulu. There is no way to know how many strains he has at his disposal. So how do we keep them from becoming Analysis symptomatic? Complete. You mentioned using Analysis microbes. Complete. Use this. A type of Volbachia. 
introduced to a sample of the parasite. Wolbachia, a parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites, turning male to female and preventing copulation. You must cultivate more. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. We made it to stop the spread of infection, but we did keep a few for study. Good. Take this sample, grind it to a pulp, and introduce it to the larvae now nesting in the dead. The Wolbachia will multiply rapidly within those larvae. Their soldiers met some petri dish. Good work. Two more gates to go. Still all quiet in the silo. No sign of Skullface or his Goliath. Surely they can't already have... No, never mind. The fastest, surest way. No one is to speak a word. Until the Wobakia are safely inside them. I will instruct your medical staff in detail on site. You have the appropriate facilities. Yes, but do not worry. I made a pact with your Pete on the honor of the Dene. I speak no lies. Keep an eye on him. Will do. Follow me. I'll take you to the medical team. Now, we must wait for the Wolbachia to multiply in the larvae. How is the disease transmitted? It's carried by insects or rodents, then. There is no intermediate host. So... The focal core parasites lay their eggs in the larynx of the host. Most hatch and migrate to the lungs. Some are transported to the mouth through ciliary movement. Mixing things with saliva. Saliva. Droplet transmission. Sneezing, coughing. Any food or water containing infected saliva, it would spread fast. Indeed. And when the they migrate to the lungs, symptoms can resemble the early stages of a cold, making it easy to infect others. Meaning a simple conversation would be enough to pass it on. What happens after the larvae migrate to the lungs? It is as I said before. They mature by feeding on alveolar tissue. It is only then that noticeable symptoms appear in the host. Alright, you're through the second gate. Only one gate left. From here on in, you're in the enemy's headquarters. Something's wrong! But it has to be here! In truth, he's not the reason. But we will discuss that another time. The Wolbachia have multiplied. We're preparing to extract them and begin vaccinating. But is this really the only way? Sure, it'll prevent infection, but the cost. You would rather remove their vocal cords? No. Tactical communications are a linchpin of what we do. What if we were to ban the use of Kakongo? Insufficient. First, there's no guarantee that only the Kakongo strain is here. Second, there is the matter of how the parasites lay their eggs before they can copulate. They must be exposed to the pronunciation of a specific language for a period of time. Like a container filling with water. But the duration between when the container is full and the copulation actually begins varies from case to case. In other words, even if the infected stops speaking as a countermeasure, it may already be too late. The only true solution is to prevent copulation through the Obakia, or by physically removing the affected tissue. Uh, do any anti-parasitics work? It sounds as though you have already tried. Yeah. We tried everyone there is, and nothing. 
I have yet to find a medicine that can remove the parasites. At best, it temporarily... They stopped coming after you. His ride has arrived. Don't let Skullface get away. Stop him at the heliport. To remove them inevitably harms the host. Companions. More than you think. And this is why... Boss, can you see the heliport? Skullface is right there. Make contact with him and make him talk. We have to stop him before his plan is set in motion. Zalanthropus is somewhere inside there. First of all, make contact with Skullface. Don't kill him yet. torments you still. You hope hatred might someday replace the pain. But it never goes away. It makes a man hideous inside and out. Wouldn't you agree Both are demons. Our humanity won't return. You, me, we've no place to run, nowhere to hide. And that is why I'll show you my demon. Follow me, big boss! <laughs> 